You'll have to forgive the Spartan accommodations here. I'm doing a quickie rush review of Godzilla, Planet of the Monsters. Just came out on Netflix today. Of course, this was <laughs> my main man, so I was totally excited. All right, so first up, got to let you know it's going to be a spoiler-filled review, as usual. So, if you haven't seen it yet, boom, jump on your Netflix and check it out. All right, you're back. So, just so that we're all on the same page, so to speak, um, this is animated, boom, right off the bat. <laughs> and second of all, basically... Um, humans hightail it out of Earth because Godzilla kicked their ass. They go to some new planet, and for reasons unclear, they got a whole ass back, so Godzilla can kick it again. All right, first up, likes, of course. So, what I like? Ha! Huh, the big G, of course. That's, that's why I watched it. But, above and beyond that, the big G was badass looking in this one. And um, I almost have to refer to two... Godzilla's because fundamentally there were two. Uh, you know, the first one, the one that they, mm, was the bulk of the movie, uh, you know, I don't know. I mean, this is probably one of three. Maybe it'll be revealed that he's not really Godzilla. He's an offshoot. I don't know. Point is that he looked really badass. Um, really sharp, really crisp. And obviously he was missing the roar, but yeah, whatever. Second Godzilla, Godzilla at the end, that we got the roar, so ostensibly the real Godzilla. Um, I mean, he looked great, but he, and I, obviously this was intentional, he looked old. Like, like, sagging facial feature old, right? So, 20,000 years old, hey, I'm going to cut the guy some slack. Don't know where Godzilla would go to get Botox. But the point being that both the Godzillas look totally bad. So I did love that. Um, I hmm, am hard pressed to come up with anything else I liked, but there may be a very good reason for that, which gets us to okay. So on the dislikes front, so first and foremost, the most important thing. And this is kind of a caveat. Um, much like Shin Godzilla. This is a very Japanese movie. What I mean is, it's different sensibilities, different cultural significance, importance, etc., etc. So, whereas Shin Godzilla is often criticized for being a movie about board meetings and tables, um, that, that actually had meaning and, and, and context over there. Um, this movie was almost about like coolie tech, you know? Um, Heavy, heavy, heavy dose of, you know, Save the Earth, Mother Gaia, that type stuff. It's always been in Godzilla movies, but it's a little bit lost on us. As such, it was a little rough to, to sit through this because I want to see Godzilla. I want to see him kicking ass, taking names, and being the unstoppable force of nature that we all know and love. This movie, he was just the bad guy. And... And it was all about the humans and their efforts to defeat him. And um, the, the plot moved along at a pace that, that was also very, very different than what we're used to. Uh, you know, they say, oh, hey, we're going to need like 600 men. And next thing, he's got 600 men. And they all volunteer. And they're going to go, boom, just quit. And then, you know, the entire runtime uh, was just, let's... Uh, Set up Godzilla, dump a mountain on him, blow up his, you know, like an elaborate, elaborate tech and stories about his shield, and, and it's, it's like, ugh, you know, I'm sure it plays very well over there. I, I'm sure it does. Again, I'm here to see the big G kick ass and take names. Now, another thing that I did not like, was, it's going to sound weird, but the real Godzilla at the end. Now... All the loss of life, the effort, the everything that was the bulk of the movie, 90 per, 95% of it, 
was rendered meaningless. That's it's kind of a writing 101 flaw. Um, you know, because he wasn't the bad guy. You didn't, did, you didn't accomplish anything. You didn't overcome anything. Now, I get that this is supposed to be first of a three-part trilogy. I even had the post credit scene teasing some strange new alien. I've gone on record. I'll do it again, and I hate that I have to do it on a Godzilla movie. But you don't make movies that can't stand alone. Okay? This movie does not stand alone. This isn't a setup for a sequel or a trilogy because it decimates itself. There's no point to what these humans did. They didn't gain, grow, accomplish anything. Um, and it just, yeah, I mean, it all fell apart. I, and, and kind of what I mentioned before earlier with this whole, like, the whole movie is about them getting, you know, it literally really is. I mean, it's just humans, humans, humans. And I, I want to say that this is a cultural thing. I want to say that it played well or, or at least better over there, but I don't know. Um, keep pulling it down. It's Godzilla saved this movie, please. Um, and, 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 you know, Godzilla fighting humans is fine. I mean, it's, it's, it's cool. The fact, credit where it's due, Godzilla destroying humans in Shin Godzilla that I referenced earlier was one of the most badass Godzilla destroying human scenes ever recorded. Um, but honestly, we, we want to see Godzilla kick some monster ass, man. Like, humans aren't really a challenge, let's be honest. And you're now facing a thousand foot tall Godzilla? There's no, there's no challenge, uh, you know. So, I don't know if we're going to, you know, Planet of the Monsters, uh, that implies that there's more than one. Um, Godzilla had to have been doing something over the last 20,000 years, besides apparently having a mountain form over him. I don't know. Again, just, and not again, I guess it's one of the graphs that I didn't cover before. Plot holes galore. I mean, just huge ones. All ignored in an effort to get to an end game. I mean, you know, you've got a lead character who you're supposed to rally behind. He's supposed to be the hero. Um, his speech, I, I could say it's uninspired, but that's that was dubbed by Netflix, so I can't make a fair assessment there. But then, like, he seems to be suicidal. You know, he seems to have this unnatural urge to destroy Godzilla. It's like, you know, it's not going to happen, buddy. It's Godzilla. He's cool. He's an unstoppable force of nature. Just accept it. Um, and then they got into all these subplots and, and, and you know, concepts about this council and are they good, are they bad, and they kill you. But it's all dropped. It's all ignored. Ostensibly because this is going to be the first of three movies. Big mistake. Second, because it's sloppy writing. Third, because I keep having to say this, but it's possibly lost in translation. Okay, pinhead time. So, um, kind of went back and looked at some of the pinheads that I've given other movies, and um, what I came up with is is that you know, bottom line is, it's still Godzilla. It's still my main man. It's still the big G. I love him to death. Any new Godzilla, I'll take. So, at the bare minimum. Bare minimum, I'm going to go three pinheads on that. So then I was looking at some of the other stuff, and some of the things that I gave, like three, five, and four pinheads, in all honesty, better than Godzilla Planet of the Monsters. I can't go any higher than that. You get three just for being the big G. Boom. Three. Pinhead movie. All right, I am fascinated. I am dying to hear what you guys thought of this, because I, 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 you know, this is so fresh, I haven't even checked other online reviews. So in the comment section below, please, please let me know. Uh, let me know how you're feeling about the channel, too, by subscribing and liking the video. Finally, I got about a year, actually over a year, to wait for more Godzilla. What do you think of that, big guy? I couldn't agree more.